Today I'm going to be learning a little bit about the Norwegian language and in particular Norwegian slang. So yeah, I've not really watched too many videos on the Norwegian language and I want to learn more of course. It seems like an interesting language from all the videos that I've watched. Interested to know what the slang is like so if you're from Norway, tell me if you use this slang and if there's any other interesting slang that's not in this video, tell me in the comments as well. Hey guys, what's up, Bazoni, and welcome to a brand new video. As you may or may not know, I'm like super Norwegian. And you guys have been asking me to speak Norwegian for the longest time. And now the time has come. Today I'll be teaching you guys some Norwegian slang. Let's! get to it. So the first slang word for you today is latis and latis. what it basically means is that something is funny. So in a sentence that would be that's sick latis us and that basically means that it's that funny. So in a sentence that would be that's that er sick latis us. Sick latis us and that basically latis means us. that's funny. The next word is dritkult. 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 And can be used in a sentence like that is cool, which means something is yeah, super cool. It's directly translated to shit cool. And shit cool does not make sense because why would they mix shit with cool? Shit cool doesn't really sound uh, appealing. So next up is skak. Skak. Uh, this is like, yeah, this letter here is one of the most interesting ones. So I guess looking at these ones so far, it's pronounced something like ah. So skak. In the sentence you would say Are you skakler? Let me see this. Stop is skak. In the sentence you would say Are you skakler? Are you skakler? And that basically means are you on drugs? You can also say that to someone that says something really stupid when the answer is like obvious. Next one. It is a uh, tasche. To tasche. tasche something basically means to steal something. And it's a word commonly used around the Oslo area. You would say something like Sar And that means seriously did you steal it? I'm just realizing how stupid these words are. <laughs> the next word is something every Norwegian says. And it is ha. Just ha. ha. And it means why do so many of these words have that letter in them actually? Like, I feel like most of them so far have actually included this. That's a very cool one, just very simple. Ha. Ah. Just ha. And it means, ha. huh? If I didn't like hear what you said, I would say ha. And that isn't ha. mean, it's just something we Norwegians do. Instead of being polite and saying, pardon, what did you say, you know? If you're like foreign and you visit Norway, you will notice that we say ha to absolutely everything. If we don't hear something, if we don't understand something, we're just stupid human beings saying ha. Ha! The next word. That's actually quite cool as well because that's like not even like a word, it's almost like a sound in itself. Uh, but I guess, yeah, the English version is like, huh? Huh? It's more like a sound as well as a word. So, pretty cool that Norway's got its own unique version it of this. It is sneak. It's a sneak. word that I feel like has popped up recently and it basically means sneaky. You can use it in a sentence like It means stop being so sneaky. You know, people are sneaky in so many situations, so this word is used a lot. The next word is like kind of English as well, so I feel like it's a word that we have gotten from English. It is keen. And if keen. I were to use it in a sentence, I would say are you keen for Swiss pizza etwa? And it means, are you interested in eating pizza with me later? You know, keen, interested. I would say that's like kind that's of like the exactly same. Or just, in do English, you actually. want to eat pizza? Are you keen? Do you want? The next word. That's actually quite interesting because obviously that's what how we use it in when we speak English as well. But it's not really. I wouldn't say it's very commonly used in English either. People would just more commonly say. Are you interested rather than are you keen? Actually sounds a bit like something older people might say or they might have said like a long a longer time ago. I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't actually say. So it's interesting that's translated into Norway and it's uh, or it's travelled to Norway and now become more popular there. Pretty cool. Word is sig, which basically sig. is a short Shortening? Shortening? Is that a word? Anyway, for cigarettes. The Norwegian word for cigarette is cigarette, so it's basically the same, just pronounced differently. And it's just like shortened down to sig. And uh, no one will ever say, do you want a cigarette in Norwegian? Because sig is like, yeah, no one says the whole word, they just say sig. Just ask for a sig if you want a cigarette. The next word... Yeah, with that in, in the UK, 
they will say a ciggy, like C I G G Y. They'll say, Can I get a ciggy? In England, maybe even, I, I don't know if it's so commonly used now, but people say fag. I know that's like a derogatory term that's used, but it actually is quite commonly used in the UK for a cigarette as well. Can you give me a, like, that word fag? So, yeah, I don't know how that came to be, how it's still in use, but if you hear people saying that in the UK, it's not, like, not abusive. I say in some all cases. the freaking time. I hate the word really, but it's just something I say all the time. And it is sad. It means sad. seriously. And I just say sad to everything. Literally all the time. All the time. And now for the last word of today. It is alkis, which alkis. is the word for alcoholic. However, you do not only use it for the alcoholics, you also use it if your friend drinks much, you're just like Oh, han alkisas, and it means like he's such an alcoholic, and it's just like commonly used as like a term for people drinking a lot. Obviously, that wow. Personally, I don't use the word much because it's not good and it's kind of disrespectful to the people that actually are alcoholics. But people here in Norway say it. Anyway, that was it for. That's actually quite funny as well because in Scotland they use that as well, like alky, it's a l k y for like. Yeah, not a real alcoholic, but like if your friend drinks a lot or you drink a lot, they'll say you're an alky. Uh, so, yeah, quite similar. I guess there, it would be natural that there would be some similarities between Britain and or Scotland as well and Norway because of the geographical uh, location or distance that's quite close. So, quite cool. Norwegian slang. How many of these do you use? Is there any other interesting Norwegian slang? Thanks.